Greetings all. Today on Merry Merry Meeples solo play, we are playing Number Drop from AEG and Debacle Jeu. I'm assuming that's games, maybe, in French. A retro roll and write. In this game, we will be rolling these dice and then assembling the numbers in the shape and dropping them down into my board. For those of you who know Tetris, it's the same basic things. They come down. The only thing is you can't slide. Um, so we start by putting our initials down here. There's my initials. In the solo play, the way it's different is when you roll the die, you choose one of these five tiles to slide down one. If a little asterisk star, not on that die, um, there we go, is ever rolled, then you will also slide down whatever shape is shown here. If this symbol is shown, the asterisk on the shape, you get to choose which one. So if an asterisk is rolled, you'll be sliding down two, one of your choice and one corresponding to the letter die. But you are dropping these shapes down. You are going to be trying to have numbers touching each other, either three of the same, or in ascending or descending order, all the way up to seven of each. Or, and then you have eight down here, which is either eight of the same or eight ascending or descending. If you get both of them, you'll circle this number. In a multiplayer game, that means at some point you drop a shape on someone. However, in the solo game, it means that when this gets all the way down and says go, if I have B circled, I do not have to drop that shape in my board. Otherwise, I'd have to drop it. All right. Uh, that's about it. I just need to put the number one somewhere on my bottom row. We are going to say put the one right here in this corner. The other thing I am going to do differently for this play is typically when you do the numbers, you can't use them for the same. So I can't do three ones and then add another one and then do four ones. You can only use numbers once. So typically you kind of draw the shape or circle them. I am going to highlight them so it's easier for you to see. Plus, this fits with the coloring of the game, which I thought was nifty. Got it? Good. Let's start this, and you will pick it up as we go if you have not already figured it out. All right, so asterisk and that. So I will choose one of them to drop, and I will then do another one. Um, let's go ahead and push this one down and then that's there so this goes down so now i will arrange these on my board matching that shape it can be flipped it can be rotated i think what we're going to do i'll kind of illustrate it that way for you we are going to go two seven 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 and now here's where the decisions start coming in. I have my three sevens. I can easily knock this out. That way I'm much closer than not having A, maybe rush getting these to try and just maybe push A constantly down and block myself and do it that way. But we have a couple of rounds, I think, to decide that. So we are going to not do that. Next roll. Another asterisk and another one of those. And now we have one asterisk two two. That is not ideal. Um, yeah, we're gonna push this line down again. And because of that, that gets pushed down. And now I have one asterisk two two. Um I think we are going to go, I'm not sure yet, let me think this through. I have my three there, I have my three, th I could get my three there with this, make that a one, two, three. Yeah, let's go. One, two, three. Two. So we're going to kind of do it like that. And then we are going to, I think, do the one, two, three down here. So 
So we're just going to highlight that. Oh, I didn't let it dry long enough. Oh, well. One, two, three. So then we circle this one, and that's going to be worth three points at the end. I completed a line, so I will circle this. So each line is going to be worth two. Each one of these is going to be worth the number of points. If I get all the way down, I circle and I get a plus 10. All right, let's try not to do an asterisk this time. Hey, we did, but different shape. All right, so we got a square now. Um, let's go ahead and push down E, and the asterisk pushes down the square. Did not cover how the game ends. The game will end when all these are at the bottom, or I have a piece that goes above the game over line. Now here's where I have the decision. So I can put my sevens together and drop that bad boy right there. Maybe even do it like that to get my twos next to each other. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Seven, seven, four, two. So now I have a five, so I could do the five, or I could push it and try and get that eight. Or just knock out the three and just try and build up my sevens. You know, I think I am just going to do the three sevens. Right there. Like that. So that will do this one. So we will circle this letter. So now when that gets to the bottom, it will not drop on me. And that's it. Another asterisk, huh? So let's go ahead and just keep pushing down A, because that's not going to matter when that gets to the bottom. That will push that one down. And now I have one, three, seven, asterisk. Um, hmm. One, two, three, four, and then I can start going down there. So I can do three, four, one, seven. Three, four, seven, one, because maybe I can get those sevens attached. And now we will do the one, two, three, four for this one right there. Let's try not to streak it this time. I streaked my two a little bit. And circle this bad boy right there. And again, no asterisk. I got the straight line. I can push down anything. Let's go ahead and just push that down. So normally it'd be go time. I have the A, so it wouldn't. Otherwise, I'd have to drop that shape somewhere in here. Flipping rotating is normal, but I'd put X's. So it could be used to complete lines, but obviously it wouldn't be able to help complete any of your patterns. So I have this line. I have... Five, six, one, one. Hmm, that's not going to help me many places. I may drop it in here with the one, six, five. Block off a lot. It'd be cool to do it here because I could. No, I couldn't do that. Yeah, we're just gonna go five, six, one, one. See about getting my ones built up there, and that completes this line. I don't have anything I can complete over here. Another line. Hmm. Cool. Not really, but okay. And we got to push one down. Let's go ahead and push E down. There we go. Three, three, 
four, six. Where do you want to go? Got a thing just up here. Yep. Three. Three, four, six. This way I have this two, three, four. If I can get a five, six, seven, I can start getting going there. Um, yeah. Let's roll. That one might be helpful. We'll have to see. Um, push this shape down. Let's go ahead and push down D. Four, four, five, six. So if we got the five, six here. We could do two, three, four, five, six, seven. The only way to do that is to push it this way, which would stop stuff down here. I don't think I'm going to get my sevens together. But it's hard to pass up doing that. So how do I want to do it? Uh, so five, six, four. Five, six, four, four. All right. So then we're going to do two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six in a row. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Done. Uh, like I said, I cut out that, so I'm not going to get that row, but it's going to be hard to get it all. For those of you who played Tetris, no. Um, let's push down B. B hasn't moved in a bit. All right, we got that little guy. One, three, seven, two. Is there a way to get four somewhere? I have that one there. Like I said, this can be flipped, so it can go that way, or it can go that way. Um, one, two, three, four. I already got that, but that could open me up for there. So if we do that. Three. Two, one, seven. And we completed this row. So now I'm open here one, two, three, four. If I get a five, I can try and get that row going. And we have an asterisk. All right. Um, this one won't be the end of the world if it fell. This one probably won't. So we'll push that one down, and then the line goes down. Now I have a straight line, an asterisk, a three, four, six. I could drop the line right here crazily and do fours, and that would protect me from B. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's do that. Let's. Four. Yep, we're gonna go four, four, six, three, and then we are going to do our four fours. Four fours, which will protect me from B, so I can start shoving B down. Star. So I'm going to do that and use the star to push that down. Protects me there. I have one, two, three, at minimum, 
four more turns. We got a five, a six, a seven. I can do this in any shape I want. We are going to do it in a little diagonally shape. And we're going to go it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. Six, six, seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to knock out that. And that's my blues. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like so. Let's highlight. I know I'm not getting it exact, but. So if I can get a five in a row, I can get plus 10 points here, which would be cool. Although I don't feel I'm protecting myself from any shapes. I am not, because that's for sure going to drop on me. So let's just push this that down. This goes, so that drops first. Mm. You know what, we're going to just drop that one right in here. X, 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 and X. Which I forgot to circle this, and we'll circle this. So this also gets filled in. I think just so you can kind of remember it. There we go. I have two turns left, but I still get to do this. This is one of the other differences in the solo game, is typically when a block gets dropped, then at the turn's over and you go to the next one. It's one of the rules I'm not a big fan of because then if you drop it, you're like, but I want it that roll, and then you just don't get it. Is there a way to get five numbers here? I have seven, so if I go three, four, five, six, but can I do that in that shape? I just realized there's a shape there, huh? Yeah, because if I just go three, four, five, six, seven, that's one, two, three, four, five. See, I've only got two turns. I'm going to be very hard pressed to do anything else. So, three, four, five, six. Six, five, four, three. Highlight those. And that is five numbers, which gives me this plus ten. And there we go. All right, possibly my last roll. It is not my last roll, but what? Do, let's just drop this square boy, and we go. X is there. Ooh, I like this one in pink. And we have a square three, seven, two, four. So the line's gonna go there. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that eight. So the way you can get the A is you have to use asterisks because the dice only go up to seven. So to get eight and nine, you need to use an asterisk. Um, hmm. Can't really get much. I can't get much, but I know I love you. Let me turn the dice this way. Four, seven, two, three, because we maybe we can go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, yeah, if we get the little nine, yeah, maybe, maybe that wouldn't be eight. Yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking. There's no way again. It. All right, last roll. Hey, this goes down. We drop the line. We're gonna drop the line. One, two, three, four. Do another pinker here. which does fill in this line. So we 
we do have an asterisk. We have a four, a two. Um, so I can get three fours, does me no good. Can't get the eight. Mm. So there's really not much I can do to get points. So we're just gonna go two, three, four, five for the fun of it. So I wasn't able to get that one filled in. All right, so the game is over because all those are down. So now we add up our scores. So we go down here. If I had anything over the game over line, for every row that has at least one box in it, you get minus five points. Otherwise, you get plus two for each of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six is 12. Seven points here. Seven, 12, 18, 25, 35. I did not get that. So that's 19, uh, 47. I cannot math tonight. 47 and 7 is 54. So we would consult the rule book. We'd see which high score we beat. We did not quite get up to LU6 in fifth. So we are in sixth place against NIC, whose high score was 46. Not bad for my first run at it. Um, as I said in the multiplayer, it plays very similar, except you have this side of the board. So these tiles would be here. And once someone completes both of these, the next time an asterisk is rolled, whoever doesn't have the highest number, A, B, C, D, or E, would get that drop, that shape dropped on them, and they'd have to fill it in, and then you proceed to the next round, and that one's used up. Otherwise, it plays the same. So that was, as I said, number drop from AEG. I was the groom playing it. I hope you all enjoyed it. Leave a like. Comment, subscribe, YouTube stuff. See you later.